Hey, this is Josh Close, and I'm going to show you how to control your particles using textures to get results like this image on the left using the advanced data manipulation tool in 3ds Max known as the data operator in particle flow. The first thing that we need to do is open the material editor using either the M hotkey or just hitting this button up here and we will create the texture that's going to drive the effect. This texture doesn't need to be one of the built-in textures in 3D Max, but that's what I'm going to use for this demonstration. You can use an image sequence as well, but in this case we're just going to go to the diffuse color channel, add a texture, and we will use the procedural noise texture and we will animate it. Once we have the procedural noise texture, we will turn on auto key, we will slide to a later frame, I'm going to go to frame 100, and I will change the phase to 1, and then hit enter, and then it will automatically create the key, so then once I turn off auto key and scrub through, the texture is changing up here in the material editor. I don't know how easy that is to see. Yeah.